Welcome back. It's time to look at three more UK dividend businesses to see if we can't find a gem. If you're new to this channel, you're not going to find any FTX, crypto, Ponzi, get rich quick type schemes here. It's all about building your wealth over time. And personally, I'm going to track that my journey to financial independence. A few weeks ago, I did this video. I'll put a link to it at the end where I looked at three UK businesses I'm looking at to try and increase my UK exposure into dividends. I ended up actually buying one of those businesses. So if you want to know which one, check out my most recent portfolio update. As I promised in that first video, I said this would be at least a two-part, and hence, here's part two. So let's get straight into it then, starting with company number one, and that is Diageo. Diageo is an alcohol beverage company based in London, and you will know them for brands like Guinness, Smirnoff, and a whole raft of other whiskey brands. Share price has been pulling back a bit recently, and it's currently 10% down over the course of the year. So does that mean now is a good time to buy or not? Well, looking at the company, there's definitely a lot to like from a long-term investor point of view. The company's actually got a great track record for growth. And if you look at revenue alone, this has gone up from 12.1 to 15.5 billion pounds in the last five years. So that represents a 5% increase year on year. And don't forget that's excluding the dividend on top. Over the course of the next couple of years as well, the leadership have got plans and aspirations to continue to grow at levels of around five to 7% up until at least 2025. And another thing I really like about this business and exactly why it's included in this update is actually because this is a recession-proof business. In fact, alcohol companies tend to do better during a recession, and I think we all know why that is. And on top of that, the brand portfolio of this business is really, really strong, and drinkers tend to stick with the drinks that they know, know and like. Brands like Bailey's, Tanqueray, Johnny Walker, these have all got great longevity and brand loyalty from a consumer perspective. And Diageo is another UK multinational that actually sells all over the world. So you get great geographical diversification with this business as well. And analysts are anticipating that the company is gonna generate earnings per share of 173 pence by the end of 2023. So this means that we're gonna be looking at a P ratio of around 21 for this business. Now that doesn't necessarily mean it's an absolute bargain at the moment, but like Buffett says, better to buy a great company at an okay price than an okay company at a great price. Dividend isn't massive. It's coming in at around 2.07%, but don't let that put you off. But at the end of the day, the Agio still represents a proper good long-term player if you're a serious UK dividend investor. Right, just before we go on to number two, I've got a great offer with Seeking Alpha at the moment. Seeking Alpha, as far as I'm concerned, the best analytics platform there is out there for doing your research. Personally, I use them for researching the vast majority of my stocks. So the first place that I go to, and I have not found a more detailed platform for looking into stocks than Seeking Alpha. So I've got an offer at the moment below. If you click on that, you're gonna get 50% off a year subscription. You can even just fill it in and uh, sign up for a trial for a couple of weeks and cancel it after that if you don't like it. Next up, in number two, we've got United Utilities. United Utilities provide water and water services to the northwest of England. They've got a ticker symbol of UU and they are the UK's largest listed water company. Again, a completely recession-proof business as everyone needs water. And at the moment, analysts have got this down as a hold. Doesn't concern me massively. Here at Neil Invest, we're long-term investors. We're looking at the years, not the months. And I tend to find that analysts have got much more of a shorter time frame than I have. Stock is currently priced at 1,026 pence. And analysts, as above mentioned, have predicted that this will reach 1,101 pence in the next 12 months. Now, one really important thing with this business is there appears to have been quite a lot of insider trading over the course of the last 12 months. And those transactions have all been buys. There hasn't been a single sell over the course of the last 12 months. It's really important to keep an eye on what people within the business are doing with their shares That's because there's no better way of getting a perspective of how well you think that business might do. Now we saw some news over the summer in terms of environmental breaches where water companies were piling sewage into the seas. Now thankfully United Utilities were not included in that. They were not one of the people responsible. And in fact, the environmental agency have got United Utilities as benchmarked as one of the best businesses from an environmental perspective that there is. Shares are pretty flat this year. This is much in line with the FTSE 100, but utilities companies aren't known for massive growth. They are a low volatility play. Dividend is around 4.23%, but more importantly than that, the business is in line and planning to increase the dividend in line with inflation over the course of the next couple of years. As I said, it's a low volatility, safe-ish UK dividend stock, but the one thing you need to bear in mind is the risk 
of nationalization of the water companies because that's going to affect this business obviously by the way if you're interested in buying any of these businesses there's a link below for trading two and two the platform that i use if you use that link deposit some cash you're going to get free share and in at number three we have got barclays bank there's a bank in part one and i'm not going to apologize for including a bank in part two either i think given the rises in interest rates that we've seen and are going to continue to see over the course of the next however long i think the opportunity that represents for banks is going to far outweigh the impact of any potential housing crash. So Barclays, for any of you that don't know, they're one of the traditional big banks in the UK, based in London. It's been around since the 17th century, so if it's longevity you're after, then this could be a good place to start. Stock is down 19% over the course of the year, and this is way underperforming the FTSE 100, of course. But you have to ask yourself at this point, does that mean we've got a bargain on our hands, or there's more concerns going on underneath? Well, I like the look of Barclays actually, and I don't think that the economic downturn is gonna go on forever at calm. I think we'll actually see a level of recovery start to happen over the course of 2023, as soon as that. Gas prices have already started to drop. This is a major contributor to inflation, so this alone is gonna to help to bring inflation under control a little bit. So you cannot ignore interest rates when looking at investing into banks. And over the last course of the last 10 years, interest rates have basically been zero. And now with the Bank of England raising interest rates around 3%, the biggest increase that we've seen in a generation, that now means that net interest margins, the difference between rates on loans and deposits are rising. Actually so much so that in quarter three, Barclays net interest margins reached 2.78% up from 2.53% a year ago. This makes a massive difference to the bottom line of any business. Barclays have got a market cap of 24 billion pounds and revenue last year was 23 billion pounds. So the stock has got a really tasty looking P of around 4.2 at the moment. That could mean that it's a bargain. It could mean that there's more concerns lying underneath. As I said, that's for you to do, you to decide. Got a fair dividend coming in around 3.85%. I think that means this is a great longer term play. It could be a really good investment. So let me know if there's any other UK businesses you want me to cover as part of this series. Don't forget that we've got that Seeking Alpha link below if you're interested in signing up with that. And as promised, here is a link to part one of this video series.